Hello Mzansi and welcome to Art Mzansi. They're facing the challenge after the Peter Marysburg court has rejected their appeal against the court decision, which authorized the king's coronation. Judge Madonda dismissed three appeals made to the court of appeal, which he decided last month. The applications which were heard yesterday were in three categories. The first was for the first queen. Proceedings of her case have been working to make the actual transcript of the statement available online. Queen Smongile claims that her marriage to the king is the only legal marriage to the king. All the others are just as good as non-existent. Existent. The lawyers of the royal revealed that the next heir must come from the palace, as that's where the legal marriage of the king existed. They further say that the marriage of Queen Smongile is the only legal marriage of the late king. The lawyers say the late king had no right to marry another wife after his marriage to Queen Smongile. The queen also wanted the estate of the late king, as his marriage to the Along was in the community of property. The second claim was submitted by the two princesses. They demanded the halting of the legal coronation, as they said the signatory of the will was forged. The same will wish made by the late queen, Zamini Zulu, the regent, was forged. The third and final claim was done by the late king's brother, Prince Bonisi. He also wanted the coronation of the king not to go ahead, as he believed that the family did not follow the proper procedure when the king was placed. From the first claim, the judge said the claim cannot be possible in the court of appeals. As for the other marriage of the king, the first queen did not make an application to say that all the other marriages are now in void. This was going to identify her marriage as the only legal one. The queen did not even state which estate she is claiming belonged to her late husband, the king. As for the claim made by the princesses, the judge said they have no right to stop the coronation of the king legally and also failed to state who is the rightful heir according to them. The will left by the late king had nothing to do with the appointment of a new heir as it was chosen by the royal family. They did not even attend the meeting that put the king on the throne and the claim by Prince Bonisi. The judge said that he has no right to ask for that and this is so because he has already made submissions at the Pretoria High Court, where he is seeking that the decision made by the president of recognizing King Mrs. Zulu be overturned. His lawyer said that this matter is not going to end, and he said this before the judge made his decision.